Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and like many of you, I struggled to find Wave 3 of the Rogue One 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. I saw maybe one or two of them on store shelves, but for the most part, they didn't exist, so I ended up having to buy a full case of them uh, and basically getting a duplicate of each one of the figures, which I really didn't mind so much. There was only one uh, in there in that assortment that I already had. Uh, two of but uh that is really kind of what it's come down to for a lot of people when it comes to star wars figures and collecting it's difficult to find them on store shelves even when they're sold online and through retailers usually they go quickly uh, especially if they're something that's very very sought after and then of course you have to deal with scalpers and the people who poach uh you know they they basically jack up the prices and then it's just outrageously impossible to keep up with so Pretty much with Wave 3, that purchase, I have come to the decision that with all future Star Wars figure waves, I'm just going to buy a, a case. And uh, I'm holding up the case that I'm about to unbox for everybody or just show you how it came there. A duplicate of each one of the figures in Wave 4. This is not Wave 3. I think I've already done that video. And you can tell this is Wave 4 because it says, uh, it says so somewhere. It should say it. W2. No, 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 dude, this is wave four. I know this is wave four. Oh, no, he didn't repack it because I opened it. Okay, well, apparently that's the labeling for it. I know this is the fourth wave of uh, the figures. So I'm just going to show you one of each of them, if you don't mind. And the reason why I got two of each is because, one, I'm going to keep for posterity in, in, in storage, you know, to have it in, in good condition. And the other one I would plan on opening. <clears throat> I haven't decided which one uh, I'm going to hold on to or open yet. I'll see which one uh, of the figures between the two happen to be in better shape. Uh, this is one that, despite uh, your appreciation or lack of appreciation of the Star Wars Rebels cartoons, uh, I think is going to be very sought after. Fen Rao with a removable helmet. This is a character that has shown up in Star Wars Rebels. Uh, wonderful, uh, wonderful figure. Uh, I would say quite a likeness to uh, the character in uh, Star Wars Rebels. I mean, as, as much as could be expected with the translation of, uh, you know, computer animation translated into uh, bits of plastic. But there is Fen Rao. Fen Rao is a former fighter pilot instructor who fought uh, for the Republic during the Clone Wars, once the Empire came to power, Rao became leader of the Protectors of the Concord Dawn, an elite Mandalorian warrior group patrolling the Concord Dawn system. Uh, very happy to have this one. In fact, I know people that have been doing it piecemeal or trying to do it piecemeal are finding themselves frustrated with not being able to find uh, this one outright. Uh, a, a, a figure from uh, an earlier series, which again, I'm, I'm happy to have in, in Wave 4, I think this one was originally released in, in Wave 3, uh, the Imperial Death Trooper. Uh, and you can tell the, 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 with the garb that how it's... He's got, yeah, he's got the pauldron, the black pauldron. So this was in Wave 3. Uh, it's nice to have another one, if only for army building. Uh, so I actually now have four of these. <laughs> so that means Jedi gets one. <laughs> More places to, to stick the Death Trooper. Uh, very happy that they decided to uh, issue these or reissue these because I don't think I have seen, well, any of Wave 4 on store shelves. Allegedly, they'll hit in June. Um, and I didn't pay an outrageous price for what I got here. I, I feel I, I paid a fair price, um, you know, considering that I'm not going to have to spend gas money driving around town. But these are going to go fast. I haven't seen any of Wave 3. If I have, it'd be the Princess Leia from Rebels. Um, she's everywhere. Uh, but anything else, I think I got lucky to find a Thrawn uh, from Wave... I think he was Wave 3 as well. Very difficult to find. Galen Urso. Uh, nice to have this one, if only because it comes with a mouse droid. Uh, first time I, I've seen a, a mouse droid in... Uh, well, ever since the release of Force Awakens, at least. I don't think I've ever had a carded mouse droid before. Certainly not a, a carded uh, Galen Urso. Uh, but it's very nice to have. Really appreciate it. And of course, you know a, a bit about Galen, so I'm not going to bother reading the backstory for him. We have a, a, a Shore Trooper, a Scarif Trooper. Uh, this is the second that's been released. The second, in terms of design, uh, there's going to be a third 
five POA, uh, three point seven five inch scale. A figure released as, as a two pack soon with Bistan. That I think is going to be rolling out again in another month or so. At, at, at the time that I'm recording it, it's not available. These things fly off the shelves as well, if only because they look cool in, in army building. Admiral Radis. This one not signed by Stephen Stanton, who uh, voiced Admiral Radis. If you're not following Stephen on uh, social, you absolutely need to. In fact, Liz ended up getting a phone call from Stephen. Uh, and I think she got an autograph figure as well, an autograph copy of Rogue One. Uh, really nice to have. Um, and I believe his uh, mouth or his head articulates much like uh, the uh, General Akbar from... Uh, I'm sorry. Admiral Akbar. Admiral Akbar from... The Force Awakens, right? He's still Admiral. God, I need to go back and 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 watch that movie again. I've been in my man cave a little too long. Could you call us a cave? Could you call me a man? Uh, happy to have this one, if only to go into my Mon Calamari uh, collection. Um, and, and as I said, I have a duplicate uh, of each one of them, so I, I will be tearing into them. Uh, last, in this particular wave, uh, a, a soldier, Lieutenant Cephla. And it says, a platoon leader in the Alliance Spec Forces, Cephla is eager for action. A strong, capable soldier, Cephla has a lot of heart he brings to the fight against the Empire. Um, I'm not terribly sure as to why this is the, a figure, I, I guess. Uh, I don't really remember a lot of him in uh, in Rogue One. Uh, and maybe I just gotta I watch it a little more carefully. Personally, I'm a fan of, you know, mask, you know, this uh, aliens, you know, creatures with masks, you know, monsters and aliens and stuff. The human figures, even, you know, even the Galen Urso, I'm not as, as excited about. And at least with, uh, Fen Rao, I can put the mask on. Um, but, uh, yeah, see, so these two, if I, if I had to choose two in the wave, then I'm like, eh, okay, well, they're nice to have. These two would be it. If I had to choose two in the wave I'm happiest with, I would probably go, well, yeah, in this particular wave, uh, Fen Rao and, uh, and Radis. Uh, not that I, I don't mind, not that I do mind having more uh, figures, uh, Imperial officers and soldiers on hand to play with. Uh, that is wave four. Uh, it should be, they should be out in stores, or if you, you're like me, forevermore, and just going to buy cases at a time, it's just the easiest way to do it because, man, it's just it's so hard anymore it's just it's it's very difficult to do and i'm not the only one who's who's had problems uh with locating stuff uh i had to do a, a case pre-order for um uh, the uh, the next thing that i have to unbox which i will do here in a couple minutes uh the uh the six inch black series uh wave two the 40th anniversary figures uh so i'm gonna move on to that i'm excited because i haven't opened the box yet so i'm gonna do that and may the force be with you